welcome to Making Music. And this week we've got uh, John Hernandez from Roland Corporation again, and Tim Breen, our inventory control manager at uh, Guitar Showcase, here to help us with uh, with some more digital goodies. Well, John, uh, before, before we get into this, I, I, last week we didn't have enough time to uh, to talk about your your band, No Nation, mm -hmm. and you've got a CD out. And, yes, and we we could take a look at the artwork to that. It's a it's beautiful artwork on that cover, and I know it sounds good too. And and later on, maybe we'll hear a little bit of that. But uh, t tell me about this band and, and what you're doing here. Okay, well, <clears throat> No Nation. Uh, th this this CD is actually a rock opera, and it's called Illumin, as in illuminate. It's a Latin root word, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a whole story which I won't get into now because it's long. But you can go on our website at nonationmusic.com and read all about it. But this took seven years to finish. It was a long process. And No Nation itself, there's three of us. Myself, uh, Stevie Keys, who's a keyboard player, and Ed Uliberry, a vocalist, phenomenal vocalist. And Stevie and I did all the music and intended on this to be an instrumental record about seven years ago we started. We realized something big was missing, so uh, I called in Eddie, who also works for Roland, and uh, I heard his demo and I was floored. All of you guys work for Roland? Uh, Stevie does not. Oh, okay. And I, and, know, uh, I know Ed Uliberry. But Ed Uliberry does. Now, is everything recorded on Roland gear? Absolutely. We used uh, our 24-track Roland recorder. We tracked everything on there, including, I think, in the last thing when I spoke about the Bosendorf for nine foot grand, just put it there, just set it up. Put the piano on there. Recorded Tyco drums at this big warehouse with mm -hmm. the Tyco dojo. Um, and we have a lot of friends and guest artists on there, uh, Ross Valerie from Journey is playing bass on all the tracks. Um, Jeff Tamalier from Tower Plower, Power is on guitar. Uh, there's Ross on there. I can see him there. Oh, cool. There's a picture of Ross. Yeah. So and he plays bass on your... On, on, your, on all the... On the entire fact, album. that was one of the sessions that we tracked him in. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he... Um, Jeff from uh, Tower Power is on a couple of tunes. Okay. And there's Jeff right there. There's with, Jeff. With that's the, Stevie, uh -huh. our keyboard player. Cool. Phenomenal player. He's been around for a long time. Um, and then uh, we have uh, <coughs> Steph Burns on guitar, who's currently with uh, Huey Lewis. There's Just Steph. Steph. And, uh, Huey Lewis. Yeah. yeah. That's actually a $3,000 handmade uh, acoustic guitar, Italian guitar. And if you look at the microphone, believe it or not, that's a Roland mic. That's one of those. But we used a feature called microphone modeling to turn that into a very expensive German microphone. Cool. Which, uh, you know, we can now talk about Who's this later. guy? That's Steph Burns playing electric guitar straight okay. in to one of our Boss guitar processors right into the board. So you can see no amplifiers straight in to get the tones that he got. And he's, he's also played with Alice Cooper and YNT. He's a phenomenal. So phenomenal you've got a cast of thousands on this thing. Right. We have John Anderson from Yes, the vocalist. He's on one of the songs. Excellent. Michael Pinder that did the narration and was the original keyboard player for Moody Blues. And he did narrations on Nights in White Satin, does a narration for this. Um, we've and got a world-class Celtic fiddleist on here. And it's ready. The CD is it's ready. It's out. It's out. So it's out and it's ready to go. Yes, and you can okay. purchase it. Cool. And cool. by the time you see this, we actually might have MP3 downloads ready. That would be nice. Yes. Because this is a digital world. <coughs> it's an iPod generation. Well, tell us. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Well, tell us, tell us about some of this gear. Now, you've got these two little tiny devices here. Yes. Now, Boss is, is a, a rolling company. That's just... Right. One of their divisions, and Ederol is also a role. Who makes that little device and some other things. Okay, well, tell us about the Boss <coughs> BR600 first. All right, so, we, so Roland and Boss have a whole line of recorders. This is our newest one, and I call this notebook recording uh, because it runs on AA batteries or a power supply. Right now, I'm running it on AA batteries. And if you can see, it's very, very thin, and it comes with a little mini-style case. And you can put this right into a guitar gig bag. It's that small. But don't let the size fool you. This is a complete recording studio. Everything from racks of effects to the recorder section to the mixing section to the final mastering to everything. In fact, there's 64 tracks in here, any eight of which can be up at one time. And there's a full-blown drum machine in here which is separate from the eight audio tracks. You actually have 10 tracks for mix down, which is very, very cool. And with 64 tracks, I can go over and do various versions of guitar solos or bass parts, or I could even bounce and do 
have this huge project because I never lose my original tracks. You can pick them up <coughs> if you like something better and, and add it back in. Exactly. So yep. let's take an example like on a Portis Studio or a tape based record. If you record, you have a four track or an eight track, let's say you record six tracks on an eight track and you dub them down to a stereo, seven and eight, and you go back and you re record those six again, and uh oh, when I mixed it, the guitar was too loud. Well, I'm, I'm done. I'm lost. That, that lost inf it, yeah. original information is gone forever. This is always living in here, so no matter how much I mess up, excuse me, you can uh, bring it back. I can yeah. bring it back, That's good. And, and away I go. Now, well, now the, you, this is also a, an effects processor. Tim is playing through this device. All, all we have is, is uh, these speakers. They just make it louder once again. Now, exactly. I'm going to turn him down a little bit so we don't get any, any noise, but I'm going to show you that in a little bit of okay, detail cool. in a minute. Um, it also has stereo condenser microphones built in. So this is, this is a very cool thing because as a guitar player, or for me as a drummer, uh, and I play hand drums, and one of the things I play is djembe. Uh, when I did this, I did this little demo song uh, that I borrowed from uh, some friends of mine in Yes. And um, it was great. I, normally to mic my djembe, you need multiple microphone configuration to get all of it. Well, just for fun, I put this on my lap exactly like this, had my djembe right here, and played the tracks. And, and you're going to hear it. I'll, I'll just solo it yeah, really quickly that. because uh, the sound floored me. Sounds like it's right here in the room. Yeah, from these mics. Yeah. No external microphone. No. Excellent. So again, that's not the MIDI sample. That's a that's live a real djembe. Uh, literally, I had this on my lap. I had it recorded. I was playing that djembe part. And what blew me away is that it picked up the entire frequency spectrum. I didn't have to use a multiple I mic hear that. situation. It's so amazing. So you could take this, and the application I see for this, you could take this to, you know, on vacation, to a beach, any kind of a band that's on the road that does gigging, you bring it in the bus, you, you, you put your, your tracks on here, you can basically do your whole song or ideas, and even if you go into a big studio with the Pro Tools or something in there, with the USB you can drag your tracks out, in fact I've already done this on mine, I use Sonar at home, and uploaded all the tracks separately, and you can go in and do a professional edit and all that there. So, so the pros can work with them from there? Yeah, I mean it's that good, Excellent. in a little box that's under four hundred dollars. Now those mics will pick up an acoustic guitar and do a good job oh, yeah. there too. Yeah. Great for a bluegrass band even. Bluegrass band, perfect, because then you can go in and do your overdubs straight on here or live gig and then bring it back and then sure. add your other parts. <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> now drum machine. So there's a drum machine. Now one of the new features on here is we have drum machines on a lot of our products, but something that's new is I have one button that says pad and you can hear that it's responding to how hard I hit the pad. So if I hit it low, it sounds. Now, so it responds just like an expensive drum machine. Now, drum machines, decent drum machines, cost as much or more than this whole unit does. And that's built in, just, just like you see. Will it do loops and patterns and that sort of thing Yes, too? now this has hundreds of patterns They're on built it. in built in, but the, this pattern here, I'll just play a second of it, is a pattern that I made very, very quickly and easily. I just set it to do two bars and then I just recorded, tapped out my drum pad. Right. But if you're dr uh, rhythmically challenged, it has uh, patterns done, you can do the whole song that way, which is very, cool. very cool. Okay, so uh, now the other really great feature of this, like we said earlier, is it has all the effects in it. So I can choose any kind of guitar amp <clears throat> and any kind of speaker cabinet and other effects all at once. And the same with bass. This actually has Ampeg models in it for bass models that I plug the bass straight in. So um, let's go through a couple of those. I'll have Tim, <coughs> excuse me. Can you turn him, his electric guitar into an acoustic? Is that something that... I can do all kinds of stuff. So let's start with something very simple clean. Now, from this place, I'm going to completely change the sound. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose 
a different guitar amp. So I want to get a heavier sound. <coughs> Okay, so now we have a heavier sound. What I did is I chose, again, one of my personal favorites, a boutique amp, a Soldano amp, and now I'm going to go through and adjust some of the controls. Okay, so right there, that's my amp, but you know what? It doesn't sound like I'd want it to sound, and because right now, uh, the original amp that I chose was a JC120 which is an amazing jazz chorus rolling amp, which very uses clean. an aluminum cone. Very, very clean. Um, but when you plug a high, uh, a high wattage uh, overdriven amp in it, it right. may not sound as good as maybe something like, uh, here's a boogie stack. Here's another boogie stack. Here's a Marshall stack with a condenser. And a Marshall stack with a SM57. And I can go in, and again, if, if it's still uh, not right, not a problem, because I can go in and adjust all the parameters on that amp. So still, for me, it's a little hot on the top end. So go ahead and play it. I'm going to put a delay on them. Go ahead. Excellent. It's amazing. You know, at, after 40 years in this business, I can tell you that 10 years ago, it would have cost over $10,000 to do those, all of those sounds. Yeah. In about, what does this sell for on the street? It's Just under four hundred dollars. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine ish. So, so, it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, better living through technology. Yeah, you can yeah. buy an effects processor that, again, is more money than this. This yeah. has so now all of a sudden we have the drum machine that's worth more than that. the effects yeah. processor plus the full blown recorder. Right, with the mics built with in. With the mics built in. Yeah, that is. And cool. the mics. Uh, that is totally cool. It's a working tool for a working musician. I mean, Tim, you could be on the road, which you do a lot. Mm -hmm. He travels all over the country. And I'm sure you've spent some motel nights where you uh, could have used something to, you know. And you want it to be quick and easy so you don't lose the inspiration the idea. Absolutely. Even plugging in the cable sometimes can, like, you know. It's too much time. So with the microphones right there, that's. Just write your tune and go. Yep. You're done. Yeah. <coughs> and then finish it later. Mm -hmm. Right. That's so excellent. I'll play a couple of other quick I'll play a little of the bass part. Now this was done through an Ampeg with a little bit of overdrive on there to get that real live kind of a crunch. So I have that really overdriven sound. These are some amazing little speakers too. Yeah, These little monitors, they sound good. All right, so there's bass. Um, so on this, I put a little guitar uh, track, and I'll play just a minute of it, and then we're going to add, I'm going to record Tim. In okay, here, cool. Uh, because my solo guitar playing is not quite... Well, you're uh, a drummer. We don't yeah, expect yeah, that. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I try and do it all, but I just, you know, I just can't. So I'm going to start with this drum track. I'm going to bring in the djembes. I'll bring in the keyboard parts that I put down, and then I'll record Tim. So... <laughs> Let me just go back. Can you bring them up one at a time so we can hear them come in? Yeah. <clears throat>
Okay, so now it's really missing a lead guitar. So let's we have let's one. hear your guitar again. Anything different you'd like? That no, sounds pretty good. Okay, great. Right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just noodle around, come in, you know, in a little bit, wait for the keyboard to come in, okay. and then just uh, let's just go for it, see what happens. Okay, beautiful. So that's good. And so let's just listen back real quick and see what Tim did. All right. Very cool. Voila. Close. Now, what do we do? I want, I love that. Let's put it on a CD. <laughs> I know on some of your bigger devices, Absolutely. they have burners built right in on the, on the bigger rolling recorders. How, how do I do it on this? Okay, so just about everybody today owns a computer or knows somebody that does. Oh, sure. You merely take this out. Right here, you have what's called a USB. That's a universal serial controller for Everyone any computer, has mm -hmm. Mac or PC. Again, you take this, plug it straight into your computer, and up comes an icon that shows this. And what you, you do is you can just say uh, extract audio files and it sends your mix because we can automate the mix. We can actually have on the mix um, various things like chorus and reverb. I can add all that any cue, which I didn't mm -hmm. show you, but you can do that. And uh, the mastering. So again, with this, I can polish it up for a final uh, mastered track, CD ready, and I just drag the file on my computer Burn my and CD. And burn your CD. Right. And that's your master, and you're right. ready. You're, there it goes. There it goes. Now, here's the other very cool thing. You can also drag the data file to this uh, computer, which means that, let's say, seven months from now, I come and say, oh, you know, that guitar part just really wasn't what I wanted. So I can take my data file, blow it back in here, have the full song ready to go with all the effects, and then update it. And do Change that. that guitar part. Make Change Tim do it again. <laughs> Make him yeah. do it again. Yeah. <laughs> so you could save data and it saves the actual audio CD both. Cool. Cool. And it uses a, a flash card that you can buy at any, uh, you know, any type to of To save camera. that data. Yeah, to save the data. Yeah. So it's very, Excellent. very cool. Very, very portable. What a great device. Yeah, BR600. Amazing product. Really Selling is. Selling for yeah. under $400. Under 400 bucks. Under 400 bucks. That's and battery powered with mics. I want Crazy. one. Yeah, it's amazing. I'll, I'll take it.
Well, not, now we got about <coughs> ten minutes to go or so. Can you this little this little guy here? Okay. Is is interesting too. Now, that looks like something out of Star Trek. Tell me about this. And and what about Ederol? Now, Ederol is another division of of Roland. Right. It's exactly. a it's a pro audio division, and I know they made keyboard controllers and they did some real high end monitors. Uh, they do video mixers, stuff that can be used for you know, switchers and, and, right. and things that they would use in, in video and television and that sort of thing. I know they do a lot of that. So, so what is this guy? Well, exactly. So Ederol, um, really briefly, is Roland, part of Roland. And uh, we also make a full line of keyboard uh, controllers, which have no sounds in them, but go straight into a computer mm -hmm. to play all the sounds in your computer. We also make the interface devices that get the audio to the computer. Right. And we have various versions all the way up to pro units. And those all come with uh, Sonar, which is a cakewalk program. It's a very powerful uh, multi-track software program. So all the keyboards come with that. All our interfaces come with that. But this is our newest device. And this, this again, this is a must-have. You know, everything's a must-have. But this is a <laughs> really must-have. <clears throat> because, you know, it's small. It goes in your pocket. And... This is a full-blown recorder, digital. stereo recorder, digital, digital recorder. recorder. Multi-format? Multi-format. So it records in all the MP3 uh, types, which are, so if you have an iPod, you're probably familiar with that, or any kind of MP3 player. And those files you can, you can email easily because they're not so huge like an audio file would right. be. However, this also records uh, in 16-bit audio, which is the same as CD quality. Right. And then it goes one step above that into a 24-bit uh, environment, which is even better than CD. Excellent. So you have a choice. So how I would use this, uh, if I were recording, let's say if I were a classical guitar player, taking my nylon string and I wanted to put it on, go into my local church or something, get that really nice room environment, or even at home, I can just set this up and I can literally record my entire record on here. Really? Oh, me. So yes. it has that kind of capability. Has that kind of capability. Well, that's excellent. Yeah. And so it's a musician's tool again. It's a musician's tool. And again, back to the hand drums. So I play hand drums. This is a great thing. When my friends and I get together and play, we can record the whole session. We can do a whole uh, acoustic hand drum record with this, a whole acoustic guitar record with this. Um, well, this looks like a spy device, too. I mean, it has stereo microphones. Stereo mic, so it's, it's digital. We could go to a rock concert. You could go to a rock know, concert and get better than CD quality <laughs> sound. Right from the front row, and then, I'll tell you. <laughs> and then you take this and you drop it in your computer. This uses a newer version, a faster version of USB. Yeah. So it's a very quick file transfer. As soon as you plug it in, it'll open it up under Windows Media if you have a PC or or uh, you could transfer your file. But don't steal copyrighted don't material. Don't steal copyrighted it's not material. Nice, you know. So if it's your own band, of course you Of course, you're going to want to do yeah. that. Well, we've only got a couple of minutes left. So here's so. the last application that I, that I really, it's been a lifesaver for me. So when we started that record, Illumin, it was seven years ago. I had a DAT machine at the time. And so we would record all of our writing sessions so we didn't lose anything because that's how we write. We, we sit there and we, we take snippets of things and glue them together. Sure. But it was a real pain to try and, and copy those and get them onto CD. Well, now with this, we're working on our second record. I, re I record in an MP3 format because it's uh, easier to email. And so we record all of our sessions. I plug it into my computer. And by the time the keyboard player, uh, Stevie, or by the time Eddie gets home, I have their files already at their house ready for them. Email to them. Email to them. Sure. So now we have all of our files at all times. It's an amazing, life-saving writing tool. For the musicians. For yeah. the musicians. Hmm. Well, that, so, sounds, that sounds great. We've got about two minutes to go. Let's hear some more music. And, okay, so what I'm going to do is just play a sample of a, of yeah. a guitar that was played straight in. And, uh, and also, by the way, this has reverb on it, which is really kind of cool <laughs> because now I can uh, actually go ahead and, and add that to my record without having to buy anything else. So it's like Thank an you. effects processor, too. Exactly. Cool. Let's so I'm going to actually turn on the reverb while it's playing, and you can hear that. Here's another one. It's my favorite.
Well, we're almost out of time again. John, Tim, thank you guys for coming. Appreciate it. That's a lot of good stuff. Keep it going. <laughs> Let's listen to that. Okay. Well, Let's there's a keep some music going here. Percussion thing. I'll put this in a different reverb. Is that acoustic guitar recorder with those microphones? Yeah. Huh? That's excellent. And Tim can play along with it on this other thing. Play some guitar, Tim. Oh, I have that. We got one there. minute. Let's hear some more guitar. Can you plug him in? Yeah. Fire him up. Not along with it. <laughs> you can play along. Give us some more music so we have something to do out of it. Another minute. Let's go back to that beat. Go for it. Get it. All right. Get it.